up everyone once again it's your favorite tv show with your main g and neo james and this beautiful damsel here and g hi hi guys hello <laughs> um yes and d thank you sir i got carried away with you you know praise my me. girl you should be used to this man you're killing it week in week really? out really yes for and real you know my girl you blow my mind every I've been week i'm waiting for you to say this every week oh girl man now i'm saying it you're oh, killing it oh this is for you for you <laughs> <laughs> guys welcome to the show another fantastic episode in line for you but before we True. do it's important that we tell you that this past week we have been overwhelmed by your massive amount of shout outs and you know hello definitely and, man mm. definitely i'm feeling the love man from so many different parts of africa as well which is fantastic and unfortunately time would not let us name True. everybody True, but man. listen it's to a some long of list, this man. listen to some of this um and did you want to start well i'll start with um mark milimo um all the way from zambia telling us that he loves the show and he thinks it's one of his favorite tv show right now yeah mark, mark, thank your you favorite, so much one and only, man. thank Dem you definitely um, i'm going to do a shout out to uh, mohammed lamin from uh, guinea Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. We absolutely love it. And we're glad we're bringing you pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely. Obon, uh, Obonna. Obonna. Uh, Obonna. Yeah. From Samuel from Nigeria. Yeah. Represent him. Yeah. He said, I love your program and I watch it every day. I mean, not every week on AMC. Oh, bless you. Now, this one I really like. Melinda K from Uganda. Here's your wave. He said he wanted us to wave to him. Just so, Melinda, wave. here's your wave. Yeah, you thank get you it? so much <laughs> for supporting us. Yes, thank you guys. There's so much, so much more. So many more people. But oh, guys, man. Listen. No, we can't miss this guy, though. No? Uh, definitely. Ooh, ooh. He actually sent us his video as well. It's called oh, John, yes. John Bosco. John Bosco. Man, the video is crazy. Yeah. And I, I felt this hip hop video was really tight. And uh, we'll give you all the push that we can John Bosco, and, um, well done yeah definitely yeah. so big up to you man keep doing your thing man we're all behind you absolutely thank you guys so much for all your messages we're going straight into the show what up my people is your favorite boy techno the zeus of olympus number one the golden boy of africa the only monk of night and you are watching the boys tv all right now guys we're going straight into the news yep. right definitely man all right i need to touch something very sensitive because i need to know right because i think it's something you'll be kind of used to like Me? an old boyfriend that don't want to let go they're still hanging on there even uh. when it's all over well, i mean why do you think that's the case because they're losers losers okay right so losers maybe this is the case i don't really know but nollywood actor emeka ek um had recently had a breakup with his wife mm -hmm. they're not living together of course but not. in a recent interview he said that um no man is allowed to marry his wife so i don't know if that's trying to let go or still i don't that know guy bores me really he bores me i'm sorry but you do all I right man just get the details maybe you change your mind on that right okay all right man, here's more on the news but I love my wife and she's my wife. Okay, so is everything fine at their home front at this point in time? Like your well, wife is back with you? She's my wife. My, my mother-in-law just dropped from the car. Her so answer. your wife is back with you? It's not your business. We're working really? things out. And the thing is this. Whatever it is, you keep working on things. You keep working issues out. You're not going to give up on something you love. Now you have a chain, a necklace on your neck. And you're at Osho, the bus stop, and you're driving. And some guy puts his hand through to pick that chain, the first thing your hand will do is to protect your neck. The first go like, oh my God. Your hand goes impulsively there. You need to protect your own. So no man can walk into a man's house and say, I want to marry your wife. It's not possible. Wow, girl, you see what I mean? The guy is really fighting for his family, right? No. No? Not right. Uh, this, okay, I'm I, you know, I like you in the sense of the job that you do. Uh -huh. But can I just say that this is a clear case of a dog in a manger. You're not where you belong. Oh, that's you don't too want to hard, man. It's you can't not. do that, man. No, listen. You, you clearly, you know, it's like, I, if I can't have you, no man, no other man is allowed to have you. I mean, what are you talking about? You, think about it. Maybe he realized he made a mistake and he's just doing everything to make sure he get his woman back. What, what do you mean you he realizes? I don't get why people would have a good thing, mess it up, it goes away, and then they go, oh, well, you know, now I want it back. If you didn't treat it right the first time, I doubt you're going to do right the second time. Instead, if she's moved people on and she's happy, mistakes, I know they do, but if you've made that mistake and she says, I'm happy to move on, you need to let her go, find somebody else, and treat that person as nice as you would have treated her if you get a second chance with her. Um, on that note, moving straight on to the next news, guys. Listen to this. Uche Jumbo had something to say about the lorry of um, Ileife, which oh. I don't know, some of you may or may not agree with. Oh. ZJ has got more details. 
In a recent interview, Nigerian actress Uche Joma revealed that she disagrees with the comment made by the wife of Oni of Ife regarding the gender equality. She feels that the statement was not in support of it at all. Here's what she has to say, guys. If I can work three hours and a man works three hours, we should both get the same pay. She also says that a woman can now decide whether she wants to be in a marriage, for partnership, companionship and friendship and not slavery. Also, she said that I'm not better, wiser or more intelligent than a man. I'm still equal, nevertheless. By the way, she concluded that if a man's virginity cannot be tested, then why should mine? There's more from Uche Jumbo, but guys, please stay tuned and back to the studio. Well, thank you, ZJ. That was very interesting. Uche went all out on that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, being here for a long period of time, my mindset on gender equality has really changed. You know, By like, here, I you know, mean London, right? Yeah, That's definitely. absolutely correct. But, you know, I think that there's been a lost in translation in what they're both trying to say. Okay. I think, you know, um, the, the um, Oni was trying to talk about roles. Okay. But she was talking about it at a gender equality conference. So oh, Uche right. Jumbo is talking about if I'm a guy and you're a woman and we work the same exact job, the same exact hours, we should be paid the exact same thing. There's no need for a man to be paid higher than a woman. Okay. And the only is talking about I'm a woman, I have my role in society or in, 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 at the home. Yeah, you know, as so, a queen, I have my role. As the king, you have your role, which yeah. is absolutely correct. Yeah, it's called your woman do the cooking That's, and the man take out the trash, right? Are you asking me? Are you telling me that? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not going there, but... Okay. <laughs> I'm not a feminist, but I believe in gender equality too. However, in this oh, case, man. I think there's been uh, lost in translation. That's all there is to it. So both women have got points that they're making great points as well. But um, it's just what it is. Okay, yeah. Well, um, moving on straight into our next news. Actually, we're going to South Africa for this um, to talk about Kelly Kumalo. And oh, yeah. Right. What oh. she been up to? Michelle, man, what, what's the update on this? What's going on? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, I know you will not believe it. The update on Kelly Kumalo is actually so juicy. In a recent interview about Senzo, get this. She said that the relationship was actually a waste of time and energy for her. In a teaser trailer on MTV's Behind the Story, Kelly Kumalo, the songbird was discussing her well-publicized abuse with substances, which we, of course, already know about. She said, and I quote, I used to forget everything and dude... I even used to go to church high. Imagine. Can you imagine? Church high? So, but Michelle, what about that other guy that she was, um, uh, you know, linked up mm -mm, with before? Mm -mm. Jill, Jill. Jab, jab. Yes. No, no, no. We all know that that relationship did not go so well. So she actually said that when he is released later this year, get this, she is actually going to place a restraining order on him. So I think it's fair to say that she definitely does not want to see him anymore. All right, guys, back to you in the studio. Wow, I'm loving this. You know, I, I, this is why I love Essay. The drama there, man, is killing. Like, pure drama. Having said that, and now I've, I know what to do with you. You mess with me, I'm going to put a restraining order on you. Well done. Okay? Honey, you can't do that. You love me. Yeah, that's what you say. something. <laughs> Angie, you know, last week we had the London premiere of Jennifer's Diary, and Danny B was actually there to cover the event. Yep, and she Stephen, did. Well, Stefan was just on the red carpet, you know, doing what Stefan does best, which is um, being a socialite. But we love him. <laughs> so, um, guys, here's Dami B with the highlights of the evening. And actually, we're going to see you on the other side of the show. See you True. soon. Catch you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here live at the Odeon Cinema House. Yes, you people that's here, we are watching the boss television So, Yes. Now, if you don't know why I'm speaking like that, we are here live. TV series season four, Jennifer. It's amazing. It's packed, as you can see. It's still early days and loads of people are already coming out to see Jennifer. I'm excited because I want to see the first two episodes. But guys, take care. Don't go anywhere. Killsies! <laughs> I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'm super proud of Funke. I think um, this just goes to show how, you know, women empowerment and um, everything else can, you know, help movement for everyone. So for someone like me um, and everybody else that follows this kind of Nollywood trend, um, whether it's TV or film, um, I think she's setting a huge example and I think that's really good. So it's Jennifer, we're here live and direct. Did you ever think like a TV series would premiere here? No, I didn't. I didn't at all. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. I have to say though, have you binge watched it like me and watched like every episode and has your English deteriorated? 
<laughs> can you can you speak properly? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have to ask though, what is your favorite part about Jennifer, the character? Consistency. Yeah. I mean, um, I think she's been able to she's been able to um, keep up with the character, the acts, and all that. You know, and there's always something new mm. with Jennifer. You know, it's amazing. Okay. It's your boy. You land better work. Ah, see the way they look, you love just fully. I like you. You like me? I like you, bro. This is the surprise I have for you. Salom! You come and open my own place for me. Awu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to say that everyone's like super excited. What are you most looking forward to today? Um, I'm actually looking forward to premiering my first appearance on Jennifer's Diary. Nice. Yeah, season five. I'm playing Marcus. Ooh. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. It's really cool. Okay, I have to ask though, what's Marcus's character? Just a little bit. All I can say is um, she likes him, he likes her, but not the way she thinks. Oh, okay. So I have to say though, your character in Jennifer, like what even inspired it? Blame it on Funke. <laughs> Blame it on Funke. She came, she came up with the whole character, you know, and I just ran with it. I think, I think you did it so well. Like, I love food, but then I didn't think that I could see even a character that loves food more than me. It gets so embarrassing sometimes, even when you're doing it. Because imagine being on set and they're like, okay, do it again, do it again. Sometimes you eat. Wow. I think I ate like yam one time, like how many times? It was so crazy, but it's so much fun though. Wow. Okay, I have to say though, like a TV series is premiering. It's like the first of its kind. How, like, how are you even absorbing all of this? It's pretty exciting, you know. You know, hard work pays off and, you know, Funke works so hard. So it's amazing just to be a part of it. Uh, which kind of girl you are sending here? See, fast in the back, fast in the bro. What's that? You want her to come and be facing my boyfriend? Here? Right, with me is the very one and only Jennifer. Kahn. Phone care, Kindele, how are you? I'm fine. I have to say, though, like your TV series, the amount of leaps and bounds is gone. And now it's here premiering. How are you absorbing all of this? Well, um, I just have to be grateful to God and keep and keep loving and appreciating my fans so if I have the opportunity to reach out to my fans I always grab it quickly and so that's why I'm here tonight is there any sneak peek you can tell us about the new season mm, no I don't oh, know something excited. something small 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 are you sure yeah Guys, it was a laugh out loud funny, like roll on the floor, you know, fall down, almost like chuck up everything. It was hilarious. Jennifer's character just keeps evolving and changing and it is just funnier and funnier. And with the new characters coming in, it is phenomenal. So if you're already a diehard fan like me, then you know that you are in for a treat. These new characters are going to make you laugh out loud, literally. That's it from me, guys. I'll see you next time.